This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI Panthers come away with the 25-10 win over Missouri State in their final road game of the regular season. And the Panthers now 6-4 overall. And Coach, uh, you think about this team, able to bounce back from a 2-3 record overall. Just what are you seeing out of your team over this last five-game stretch? I've seen uh, consistent growth. Uh, they've, re they've prepared very well during the week. And they've had production during the game. I mean, they, they stay focused throughout the full, full four quarters, and uh, we pulled some games out at the end, and our guys are playing well right now. Last Saturday, uh, opening drive, 75 yards. You go down, uh, you score 70 yards rushing between Christian Jagan and Marcus Weimiller on that drive alone. How did that kind of set the tone for that first half? Well, I thought that was very important because we had, we had uh, kicked off, they had the win. So anytime you can use the quarter up when your opponent has a win is critical. And we did that and then, and then starting the game off with scoring as well. I mean, the two together were, were very important to the, to the course of the game. Marcus Weimiller continues to have exceptional games. 131 yards rushing, almost 150 all-purpose yards. Uh, gets a touchdown on that opening drive. Uh, he just continues to, to improve week after week. Well, he's, he plays so hard all the time. Anybody that plays hard has a chance to be successful every week. And he prepares, but he plays hard. Hard. And when you play like that, you know, you always have a chance, like I said, to get his 100 yards if you give him enough carries. And our focus was to get him in that territory, but uh, he can get there himself, too. He's, he's a good football player. Doing it behind an offensive line that coach uh, seemed like was a mash unit this past Saturday. You got a, uh, a couple guys weren't able to go. Nick Ellis gets his first start, and uh, a couple other guys had to, had to step in there at times as well. Well, we lost Sweeney and Twait, and both those guys were out. We had lost Spencer earlier in the season. So yeah, you can look at it that way. Or Nick Ellis had an opportunity, and Nick Ellis did a great job, and uh, really did a, played a great right tackle for us. He got hurt in the third quarter, and then Putney went in. And he did a great job. So, what is detrimental to one is an opportunity for another, and that's how you got a good football team. Somebody steps into that role, and, and uh, you keep playing, and they, and they stay productive. Speaking of stepping into that role, Eli Dunn gets knocked out early in that first half. Colton Howell, talk about him, how he came in, uh, managed one heck of a football game. Well, that was probably the one that. That we hadn't prepared for mentally. I mean, Colton's always getting ready because he's our backup quarterback. But we were ready for the offensive line movement and had something happen. We had thought that through of who was going to go in next. And, but then Eli goes down the first quarter and that one kind of hits you as like, okay, I didn't see that coming. And But Colton went out there, really didn't miss a beat. Once he got calm, once he started performing, I mean, he just took off and he played very well. And doing it too in a year in which he was planning on red shirting, but uh, doing whatever he can to help the team. Well, you know, that's, that's part of being on a team, but that's part of, of Colton is, well, give him great credit for it. We wanted to red shirt him last year. He came in on, on the roll when, when uh, Eli got hurt last year at Indiana State. This particular year is in the middle of a, of a run that we're making that it was critical that we stay with that rhythm on the run. And Colton allowed us to do this because of how he played. and He kept us on, on, on uh, target to reach our goals. All right, we'll have more with Coach Farley coming up after this. The Panthers' regular season finale is coming up. We'll have his thoughts on that right after this. 